SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket carrying two American astronauts launched May 30th, 2020 from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This is the first time an American rocket has launched from American soil since the end of the space shuttle program in 2011. Now, you may be familiar with this rocket all the way to my right. This is a space shuttle. This is the Falcon 9. This is the rocket that was launched in May of this year, taking two American astronauts to space. They flew there in the Dragon capsule which can hold up to 11 astronauts plus cargo. This is a very different look for a rocket compared to some of the historical rockets we have. Now, if you look down here, this is one of the original Russian rockets that took Russian cosmonauts and American astronauts into space. This here is the type of rocket, Apollo, that took American astronauts to the moon for the first time and back. The space shuttle is the longest running program and is the one that took most astronauts to the International Space Station and back. This program ended in 2011 and has been replaced by the first commercial program to partner with NASA, the SpaceX program, flying the Falcon 9 rockets. Now, today, I think it's time that we celebrate this great occasion by building some of our own rockets. So, I built the Venture based on the space shuttle program, because when I was a kid, I wanted to be an astronaut. That is until I realized that NASA just doesn't send people to space to look out the windows and say, wow. But at least I have this. So let me show you what you need to build this type of space shuttle for our school age program today. And hey, if you want to build one of the other types of rockets, Maybe the Falcon 9 that flew today, or maybe the Russian one that flew many years ago. That's awesome too, but let's get started. So you're gonna need scissors, a toilet paper roll, or possibly a paper towel roll, a pen or pencil, some cardboard, tape, possibly some markers or crayons in order to really decorate it, maybe some stickers too, and some paper. Now let me show you how to do it. So I'm gonna start out by getting a rectangle out of my cardboard. And I luckily had cardboard that had white on it. You might not have any white cardboard. However, you can use any type of color you want for this. This is kind of a no holds barred building session for rockets. So I'm gonna cut all of these extra sides off and I'm gonna show you how to make the space shuttle, my favorite, because that's what I knew from NASA when I was younger. So get rid of all those and then you've got your base. Now I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to draw out kind of like the essential shape of a space shuttle. So it kind of goes upright and then it's got a big nose and it comes back down and it's over on this side. Not exactly even, but hey, we're not all perfect. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it out using my scissors. If you need parental help for this, no big deal. Every good engineer needs an assistant. And then you're going to take your space shuttle base and your tape. And you're going to place two pieces of tape on it. Perfect. Then you're going to want to grab your paper towel roll. Now I took a piece of paper and I cut a slim part of the bottom. This is plain white paper, but you don't have to use just white. You could, if you have notebook paper, that works too. So as you can see here, it's not quite big enough for my lovely toilet paper roll. So I'm going to do some trimming. This is what we call highly measured trimming. Yep, looks about great. So now I'm going to start taping this on. So you're going to take the tape and just tape right at the end of the paper and then you simply roll the paper around the tube. And then you want to tape up the end so that that lies down totally flat. 
Once you've got that, you're going to casually lay whoops, your paper towel roll onto your space shuttle right at the edge where your wings end, the nose starts, so you're going to have a little bit sticking off. Good work, team. So now you've got wings, a nose, the place where you're gonna stick your cargo and your astronauts. And what we need now is a tail, right? So the first thing you're gonna do is you, or an adult, older brother or sister are gonna make a slit right at the end. And you can kind of slip from there up until where it hits at the shuttle wings. Perfect. Now what I do is I like to take one of the pieces of cardboard that I used or I had before that I didn't use and I'm gonna cut it down to size and I'm gonna fold it. By folding it, you get both sides in one cut. So you kind of want to make a slanted angle for it and then a flat top cut. Perfect. And then I'm going to cut this extra part off at the top because it's bent right there. All right. Looks good, right? So then you've got this slit right here. And sometimes it helps if you take another cut right next to it and kind of cut a little bit of that middle part out because what you're going to do is you're going to slide the tail into the shuttle just like that and then if you need to cut a little extra off the end perfect and there you go my friends a space shuttle and now this is the part where you can make it totally your own so when I made Venture, which I wrote right here, the name, because every good space shuttle needs a name, every good capsule, every good rocket, um, I put the American flag on it, the NASA symbol, and I drew it out to look like a space shuttle from the space shuttle program. But you don't have to do that. You can decorate this however you want. You could put lightning on it. You could put flames on it. You could draw a frog on it or a unicorn. It doesn't really matter. Make it your own and make it fly. Houston? Houston? We have a problem. Just kidding. But if you did miss the launch of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket recently, you can definitely go online and see it on the NASA website, on YouTube. And hey, if you want to know more about the space program at any of its stages over the last couple of decades, or if you even just want to take a closer look at this awesome chart I showed you or find some more infographics, please go to boisepubliclibrary.org and go to our resources page, um, go to the National Geographic database, and you can search any of their magazines over the last couple of decades and find all kinds of awesome interviews with astronauts, um, articles about the missions to Mars, all kinds of really cool things to feed your space appetite. So check out the launch, look through our databases, find some more information about space, make a space shuttle, and have a lot of fun. Thanks for coming, and we'll see you next time on School Age Fun. Bye!